It's 10 a.m. on Friday morning, and it's just an ordinary day. Well, maybe a little wetter than usual. Hey, but for Hannah and pest detection dog Harper, they have a big day ahead of them and an important job to do. First stop, quarantine. Today our office is going to be the HMNZS Wellington, which is arriving here to prepare for its three-day, 1,000km journey to Raal Island in the Kermit X. Raal Island is mammalian pest-free, and it's our job to make sure it stays that way. We also don't want to bring over any weeds with us, so I'm just checking Harper's coat in case there's any seeds stuck to it. Right, Harper, time for your uniform. This normally includes a muzzle. Even though conservation dogs are highly trained, they still wear a muzzle as an extra precaution when working around native wildlife. However, today Harper won't be wearing one because she's working on a Navy ship. Ready to go? Come on. On this trip, we're going to take about 20 staff from government agencies like DOC, GNS Science and the Met Service, and we're going to take them enough supplies to last about six months. All the supplies, equipment and personal gear for Raoul Island have already been through a quarantine inspection. Harper has also been joined by two canine colleagues. The job of the dogs and their handlers is to check the boat over and make sure there are no rodents or plague skinks on board. The dogs have just one target species each and Harper's focus is plague skinks. She's the only dock dog trained to find these particular pests. Her mates over there, Will and Hector, are rodent detection dogs. Skinks love being out in the sun, so our work will start outside first. Plague skinks, sometimes called rainbow skinks, are native to Australia. They breed quicker than our native skinks and compete with them for food and their habitat. Each species of skink has its own smell and Harper's been trained to only track the plague skink and their eggs. It's important to note that the dog doesn't catch their target species. Their job is just to find it and then it's our job to catch it. This is an important part of their training. Harper went through an extensive training and assessment process to get her job and now needs constant training to keep up her interest and focus. We use dead plague skinks like this and I'm just going to hide it here for Harper to find. Because this is a training exercise at a location with no native species, Harper doesn't need to wear a muzzle. Harper works a bit differently to the other pest detection dogs. She's a Labrador and she's food driven. So instead of getting excited when she finds her scent, she sits down, points with her nose, and then gets a treat and a pat. Yeah. Nice you work. Good girl, yeah. Harper. Good girl. Hannah's never found anything on a boat, especially one so well quarantined. People have found skinks in their vehicles and in their handbags, um, but for something like this, it's not very high risk because it's already been quarantined. It's a bittersweet job in that way because people ask me if I've had a good day and I don't quite know how to answer. It's good that we haven't found anything because it means that there's no pests, but not so good for Harper who wants to find something. But at the end of the day, we're here to make sure that things stay pest free and that's the rewarding part of the job. And with that, the entire vessel has been checked. Harper, Will and Hector are happy that the vessel is plague skink and rodent free. That means it's a job well done and the boat can be cleared for departure. I really do feel lucky in this job. It gets to combine my passion for nature and dogs. And I am lucky to work with my best mates, Indian Harper, every day to protect New Zealand's native wildlife. Hey, what a good dog. Good work, yeah, good work. <laughs> <laughs>